<laughs> Good evening, everybody. Good evening. It's glad to see that so many of you have gathered tonight. It is lovely evening to hear more about the technology. That is absolutely amazing. That is just brilliant, in my opinion, and uh, in many others, other people's opinion as well. So it's it's absolutely awesome that you have come to uh, this evening and and we will start now. And today we talk about technology. For you who are first time here listening to my webinar, then um, this webinar is about a new revolutionary technology, 21st century technology, which is called Skyway. And it's basically um, a second level pre-stressed string technology, which is, well, this means that it's elevated, it has rails, it has B rails, monorails, uh, as you can see here behind my back as well, up there high, that's uh, monorail basically. By mono, I mean not the technology, which is also called monorail, but I mean that it's it's slim and like a one string. But we have also B rails, which are basically double rails where you can uh, ride above the rail and under the rail as well. But more of this, I will talk to you soon. And of course, one other reason why we are presenting this to, to people and, and uh, hoping that this information gets to people as well, because we today, the people have the possibility to invest as well to the project and receive very valuable Mm, uh, shares of the main company, which basically means wherever in the world this technology is going to be built, uh, all the investors will get paid by dividends. And when we go through the IPO process, then it's possible to sell your shares as well as buy more share shares. So there are many, many uh, choices. All right, but a little bit about myself as well. My name is Michael. I'm from Estonia. And I have been a presenter and active partner for Skyward Community for about five years now. And it has been an awesome five years because, well, that time I personally don't remember because I wasn't an investor that uh, back that day. But 2015 actually is the date where the first land allocation was, was well, was there. Skyway received land in Belarus where they started where the company started to construct their supports and then place the rails and then they were already testing of the new mobiles new mo models and now today we have already two certification demonstration centers which one of which is located in belarus where it all started there we have more than seven different track structures more than seven different models are already um, certified as well and then great work goes on constantly. There we have also our production at the moment. And then the uh, other location is in United Arab Emirates, where we have, well, also a big land that's uh, given to Skyway. And the team of Skyway to develop their, well, models, track structures for tropical climate countries. And we have also one track which is 400 meter track fully blazed certified already and uh, tropical unicar as well certified by the by the standards and now quite recently i came in january i came from united arab emirates and i visited myself as well for the third time already the Sarge innovation center and it's awesome also i have been in belarus myself and uh, and I have had the chance to ride with it above the ground, about 12, 15 meters. Well, it's just fabulous. The view, the atmosphere, it's smooth, quiet. Just can't wait when it's uh, when the development is so far that we can already, well, in my uh, country in Estonia as well, to go from one city to another city and fly over the forest, over the other cars, and so on. 
so it's it's going to be an awesome future with skyway all right but now let's uh, go back let's go uh, together back to january these photos are made by myself and uh, on the right side you can see there is the such american in well it's such innovation center but on the left side there is such american university area so they are working this university is working uh, hand by hand with uh, such innovation center so that's on the right side which you can see better on the next photo yes here on the right side uh, this is basically a big and almost innovation center. It's not only for Skyway, but there are many different researches and developments going on. But a little bit further on, behind the third palm tree from the right, you can see already the new stations that have quite recently placed or, well, they were, they started it constructing uh, last year, but uh, now they are almost finished. And uh, I'll show you them. Yes, here they are. So basically, the first one on the left side is Cargan Passenger Terminal. This is meant for up to 50 tons um, weighing different models. And on the right side, that uh, is Container Terminal. And those supports and track structure have to hold uh, more than 50 tons. So that's why, hence the well, Container Terminal. So yes, and now let's see what has been made. Mm -hmm. Just a sip of orange juice. But um, here you can see the cargo and passenger terminal is ready. Track structure is up. It's installed and Recently, I received the news that a model, which is meant to be the first one to test on that track structure, this cargo passenger terminal track structure, is also in United Arab Emirates, in such Innovation Center now. It took more than three months to get there because of this, well, we know the situation in the world, especially in Russia and Europe, so and Belarus is there as well. So that's why there had to be, uh, well, it was a little bit more difficult and took a little bit more uh, time. But everything is there now. Of course, in the future, we will have uh, the well, this manufacturing, um, um, well, manuf manufacturing takes place all around the world in different regions. But at the moment where we are still in the process of, of this 15 stages, basically we, at the beginning, 2015 or even 2014, the business plan was made and the uh, development stages were made for, it's like a, well, like a schedule, what has to be done um, at what time. And then if those missions are completed, the goals are, are achieved, we can move on to the next stage. So basically there are, all together, there are 15 stages. And therefore, investors as well, because company had to get the funding. And at the beginning, they, they didn't want to get the funding from one or two big main companies, because we know what could happen then if we get away a lot of, well, shares to those investors. Therefore, they wanted to maintain the, well, more than 50% of the shares. And they well. The company right heads thought that it's quite reasonable to do the crown funding. Uh, and therefore, here we are. Now, all the people all around the world can also um, invest in the company and have been doing that since 2015. And now we are getting very, very close because the date is then. 10th of May this year, so next month, 10th of May, we will go to the last stage, to the 15th stage. And there are three sub-stages, 15.1, 15.2, 15.3. When 15 stage point three is finished, then there is no more opportunity for people all around the world to invest to the main company, to invest into the technology, which means, well, of course, there will be 
I hope there will be different projects because we have our own helicopters which uh, have no driver or pilot on board and can lift um, many tons of kilogram, many tons of weighing well, materials for constructing, for example. We have our Hummus project and uh, many other patented uh, technologies like cars for uh, uh, for people who will, will have wheelchairs, for example handicapped people, so to say. And it's possible that those projects will come up then. But of course, the main, 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 and the most important is to get the shares of, of the Skyway technology, of the elevated pre-stress string technology. And this moment is now. And, uh, and soon we will go to the 15th stage. And then maybe we have half a year or maybe a year. But what when the time... The more time goes on, the less shares we will receive for the same amount of time, uh, money. That's another aspect. But more of it, uh, inf more information of it, you can find from your back offices. So whoever invited you here or, well, um, showed you this technology and presented this to you, ask them to share information about how to get into the back office, do the verification processes. You can find all the documents there, all the documents about, um, well, all different kinds of things. There are a lot of information and new section, of course, and the investment packages as well. So therefore, I, I truly recommend to visit constantly the back offices, check the news, stay tuned and, and to make great choices. All right, but now let's go back to the presentation. Here you can see then uh, this is, well, the last 500 meters or so, two kilom kilometers, 2,000 meters is behind already. But you can see this on the left side, the track, which is which has already installed and elevated strings. This one has supports uh, after each few hundred meters, which is quite a long distance. But on the right side, that track structure, which was meant for containers, container terminal, track structure, those do not have lifts, um, strings elevated yet, but those supports, because they have to hold um, uh, much uh, greater um, well, ways, that's why its supports are closer to the um, itself as well. So they are located, the distance between two supports is, uh, is not that uh, long. All right. Now let's get ready to rumble. I will show you how the container typo and the track structure will look like this animation at the moment, but this will be there quite soon this year already. But one great thing is about the container terminal and why it's also why it's called revolutionary technology. First of all, it's elevated. It has its own track structure. It won't collide with obstacles. Let it be cars, people, traffic houses on the first level then it can ride above and in the hanging mode so to say above the uh, below the track structure as well so simultaneously in two ways it can move speeds are more than 100 kilometers per hour which today if you think about the ships what else there are there are trucks and trains if you think about those transportation technologies which the well, they have about average speed 20 maybe 30 kilometers per hour well there are mandatory stops for truck drivers for example ships are slower and uh, dangerous uh, at the sea and then we have trains also a little bit uh, slower especially when they have multiple well hundreds of containers behind them they can go very very fast and the traffic on the first level not so much with the ships, but uh, with trains and especially with trucks, there is a lot of traffic. All right, another glimpse of, of the track structure. It is very, very beautiful. Now here you can see the picture of, of Dr. Anatoly Onitsky on the left side. Mm, man in bold and on the right side that's the ruler of uh, Ras al-Khaimah 
Emirate in the United Arab Emirates who uh, quite recently visited the Innovation Center and got the chance to ride with, uh, along with Dr. Anton Yutsky in, in um, Unicar. And of course, uh, well, this again shows how great relationship, okay, great relations we have with, um, with the high members. Of, of different countries, especially in United Arab Emirates, because by the way, a fun fact is that Skyway was the first company to build a authorized wooden house in United Arab Emirates, in Emirate of Sasha. There has never been a wooden house, at least which is official. And the Skyway was the first one to receive this well opportunity. And that's called Echo House. Now today it's covered fully in green. It's all around. It's it's only green basically. And the main idea, that's also one uh, product, one uh, technology, which is patented and well developed by Dr. Anton Iski and the team. And it main reason is, well, or the idea is to maintain itself fully. So produce the electricity, water, heat, everything. It should, uh, it should be made there on the spot. That's, that's very nice. Yes. And now this going to the 15th stage of development. It was delayed a little bit or postponed uh, intentionally so people could have a chance to think thoroughly and think through this uh, this idea and opportunity and now the it, it's going to take place in in uh, well 10th of may this year so quite soon but more more about it in your back office all right now let's get ready for part two And we're going to find and seek answers to the question, why Skyway? And of course, the first point is that it's innovative. It's 21st century technology. It, it, it looks elegant, beautiful. It rides very smoothly, as you can see on the support design, which is uh, actually this is the same. The same design is for the 400 meter track, which is already placed and already exists in the innovation center. I have seen that myself as well, and that uh, basically this exists already. But this certain picture, of course, is animation. But, but the same thing is is already already made. But the design it's just so glamorous, and we can well design it how the, for example, the city designers see it in different regions or, or cities around the world. So it's very flexible. Then. Uh, it works by electricity, the energy source is electricity, 100%. It has its own batteries, its own motor wheel, derailment system. And there once was an accident in, well, in the beginning, 2016, I believe it was, or 17, where a tractor in Belarus drove in front of the track structure. The track structure, of course, well, we are thinking that it's very safe, 90% safer than all the other existing technologies because it's elevated, it goes above the traffics. But when we traffic, but when we when we are doing testing, it's not reasonable to lift it very high because it's uh, more expensive then. And then uh, when there are not so many maybe well funding, or it's not just reasonable. That's why it was on the height where tractor still could throw in front of it. But there was some miscommunication anyway. This accident happened. The tractor's cabin was smashed. Luckily, the driver was alive, uh, well, and then recovered from the accident. But the uh, Unibus back then, it had this, well, this corpus or this, it was a little bit off the shape, but it was in one piece and it even could ride uh, back and forth. So it didn't fall down or anything. It was very, very strongly still on the track structure. And that proved us even when there is an accident. It still is very, very capable, very strong technology. It's like a spider. And even when you lift it upside down, it still won't, or put it like this, it still won't go anywhere off the road. Yes, here it is the same, basically. It was half the size it's on displayed on this picture at the moment, but this picture is made in Belarus. The real one, this is not an animation. This is called Unibus, but it's double, double Unibus. It has the, well, to, to basically doors there, which will open and take people on board. 
It's nice. Now let's take a look inside the rails. There are pre-stressed string punches, which, well, it works like a bridge, basically. It's very, very strong. That's why we won't need like the other technologies like monorail, for example, needs after every, every 20 meters or so a man, massive support, but um, Skyway needs it. Uh, if we think about or uh, imagine at the moment that one behind me, myself, that unicar there above about 50, 100 meters above the ground, then these supports can be after every two kilometers or more. But yes, that's uh, the main thing is here, the, the pre-stressed strings, which are inside the metal body frame, basically. It's filled with special filler to reduce the noise reduction, to make it more solid. And through the filler, well, before filling it with filler, there can be tubes. We can take Ethernet, uh, lightning cables, electricity cables, uh, etc. Through, through the track structure, for example. Yes, here it is. This picture is made by myself uh, back in 2019 when I visited ECOFest 2019. It was an amazing event. It's basically an, an event which is uh, made for all the investors uh, once a year. It hasn't taken place, well, locally, one, once virtual, virtual, virtually, but not locally since 2019 due to this pandemic and then crisis all around the world which i know believe i, I believe that all of you know but there is a possibility that this year this echo fest takes place in united arab emirates but well i had this little bit this information inside information about it when we had this gathering here in estonia with the leaders and with the board members they told that there is a, uh, a possibility for that. But more information is soon to come. Let's wait, let's see, let's hope that this year this event takes place. And whenever this opportunity comes, I urge you to take part of it. Get the ticket, make this investment into yourself and to the technology, so to say, come there you can take a ride there with i believe the 400 meter uh, unicar on the 400 meter track you can see all the surroundings the awesome echo house there and then it, it's fabulous and see unitsky Anatoly Nitsky, i believe and of course there is a big gathering for all the investors and to share insights and what's going to happen in the future that these are always interesting and fantastic events in my opinion All right, let's move on. The second point is that Skyway is ecological. Ecological, of course, uh, for many reasons. First of all, it runs fully on electricity, so there is no direct CO2 emissions, which is very important, as we know again, by the EU directives and all this well, mm, news that come to us that we have to go to electricity and uh, reduced pollution and CO2 neutrality policy, policy and, and so on. More of it you can, of course, read, read by yourself. But uh, there are more aspects. Today, well, we have this situation in, in societies where in most of the places people who have driving license can afford or their families will afford for them a car, but the uh, populations in cities constantly grow because, well, the work mostly is their social life and so on. And uh, therefore, the, the new challenges also constantly arise. Since we, can, we, we cannot just tear down the ancient buildings or old houses or new houses inside the city centers, for example, to widen the roads. Also, in most of the bigger cities, we already have the underground system underground transportation technologies, subways, for example. And the challenges, problems still arise. There are traffic jams. I will show you soon another great picture. Maybe it's the next one. Yes, here it is. In Japan, for example, there are these men in who wear this hat and suits. Those are called pushers and they're mission or their goal is to push last people on board of the trains and subways 
<laughs> just imagine if you are the first person to get on board and then you want to exit the next sta station <laughs> by whatever reason there there would be then it would be quite quite difficult so yes anyhow this is reality and sky we can change this because well we have this system as as i showed you before we have these terminals this there are, there are going to be a terminal or mandatory, well, not mandatory, but um, maintenance area, maintenance uh, station, for example, on each major track. And since there are no drivers on board on Skyway models, this is fully out autonomous system. Uh, of course, there are remote controllers from the stations, but uh, no person on board who drives with this um, unicar, for example, or unibus. And since, um, well, the screening constantly takes place, we can get the information how many people are at the stations uh, at this specific time. When there are rush hours, for example, then these stations, these maintenance areas, where, for example, 100 Unicars can just park, they will recharge there, they will get maintenance, they are just waiting there. And whenever the rush hour comes, they will go to the main uh, track structure and start serving people. So therefore, we can we can take much greater amount of, uh, of people from one place to another in the same time, of, um, time amount as, for example, with subways or metros or monorails. So therefore, the, we can increase this flow of people much, much more than, than it is today. And these men in hats, these pushers wouldn't be necessary because we know that in 30 seconds, another model, uh, another unibus will be there and we can get where we want. We don't have to wait for five minutes or 10 minutes or more. So that's, that's why it's really, really amazing. And another aspect, uh, ecological aspect is that, well, in every case, we have to reduce the energy and amount of energy we need to use for movement. And therefore, there are what Dr. Natalia Niski found that is that we have to shape the body of all our models to cut the wind as well as it's possible. As here with this high speed uh, model, which goes more than 500 kilometers per hour, then it's shaped so it would cut wind perfectly. And the another aspect is that. With, uh, with Skyway technology, we do not have this screen effect. So we are elevated and the wind can go perfectly beneath the track structure, beneath the model, and won't cause any screen effect, which will make this uh, coefficient, track coefficient higher. Basically, it's wind, uh, obstacle to wind coefficient, so to say. But with cars, there is asphalt, there is road beneath it, so the wind collides there and causes this uh, coefficient rise. So yes, therefore, that's another really, really important thing to understand. Then the maintenance of roads, which take a lot of uh, resources in deserts areas in winter time, where we have to have the special trains to push the rails clear for the commercial ones and so on. But with Skyway, these problems won't exist because we are elevated. There is no wind that can cause harm to us. Uh, sand, uh, salt, everything is tested and is constantly being tested. And even earthquakes up to, I believe it was seven or eight magnitudes, won't hurt our technology. And even if something happens with one support or two supports, the other supports will hold the track structure so it wouldn't smash the ground. Yes. And um, again, constructing new railroads, for example, <laughs> just imagine with Skyway, we need these places for supports. Let's say we lift it up uh, about 40 meters so we can go over the forest, for example. Then we need approximately, I believe, after each 800 meters or so, we need uh, a support or maybe a kilometer. That means we have to dig underground quite a lot, about seven meters, I believe, at least with rails it is. Then we have to fill it with special filler and make the support to hold. But with train tracks, for example, today, which are placed on the ground floor, 
those we have to dig seven meters below through the old track uh, road. So let it be 200 kilometers, we have to dig it. Then fill it with special fillers. And then we can place the rails. We have to take down all the forests, houses, clear the path, so to say. Then we need this asphalted road, security road, on one side of the rail uh, rails. And then fences, bridges. It's it's enormous amount of money. And even when we and now let's go, <laughs> let's go to the Scandinavian countries or Central Europe, where there are mount, mountainous areas, a lot of mountains. Another great sector is this mountain explosion and um, constructing track structures through the mountains where we have to well use dynamite to to make a way through the through the mountains another another aspect but here with Skyway we can witness the perfect flow of the of the amazing and brilliant technology. We can lift it up high as 100 meters. We can go over everything, almost everything, and direct. So we can we will save a lot of time by all the calcula calculations uh, when we compare this technology to others. When we have done these test routes, um, uh, calculated everything, that there are many of hours which are going to be saved on the same uh, road or the same length of road. But all right, today we will finish here. We have more points to cover, but more about this all we will talk uh, next time. And next time takes place on 11th of May. So one day after the 15th stage has started. So therefore you have time until the next webinar to make great choices, maybe invest. Uh, of course, first of all, you have to read thoroughly all the information, get uh, the secure feeling for yourself, uh, discuss with your uh, well, partners, people who know the technology as well, maybe who have invested already, ask their opinion and so on. So yes, until then, I wish you all a great night. And next time we will do the webinar at the ordinary time, uh, 6 p.m. GMT plus time two time zone. And we'll talk about the technology itself, the news, a little bit uh, about the news at the beginning. Let's see what uh, what new news we have uh, by then. Then about the technology, I think I, I show you once or twice more this January when uh, this January pictures from January, which I made myself when I visited uh, Innovation Center or drove by it for the for the new members. And then I believe already a lot of uh, pictures will be made by the company itself, which I can present to you. But all right, thank you. My name is was Michael, and see you again already in 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 few weeks. Goodbye.